Hey guys, what's up? The Trent from FGS Sports and Flags. And today we are going over every NFL Week 6 game in depth. So, uh, to start off, on Thursday night, we have the Tampa Buccaneers playing the Philadelphia Eagles. Tom Brady has almost 1,800 passing yards on the year. Jalen Hurts has about 1,400. Brady obviously has he has a crazy amount of touchdowns, 15 on only two interceptions. Jalen has seven touchdowns, three picks. Um, Lynn Fournette, the top running back out of the two, he has a touchdown and 250 yards. And the top receiver in this matchup is Chris Godwin with 306 yards and two touchdowns. He will probably shine at least a lot. Um, I don't know about Mike Evans. Oh, no. He's doing pretty good. He has just under 400 yards, so that's good for him as well. On, uh, on Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m., the Miami Dolphins play the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars are 0-5. Dolphins are 1-4. Jacob Brissett, 800 yards on the year, four touchdowns, two picks. Trevor Lawrence, 1,100 yards, six touchdowns, eight picks. Uh, James Robinson, by far the better running back out of the two top ones playing in this game. He has just under 400 yards and four touchdowns on the year. And the top receiver is going to be Marvin Jones with about 240 yards and two touchdowns. Cincinnati Bengals play the Detroit Lions at 1 o'clock. The Bengals are 3-2. and two. The Lions are 0-5. Oh uh, both quarterbacks have about 1,300 passing yards. Burrow has 11 touchdowns, 6 picks. Goff has 7 touchdowns, 3 picks. Joe Mixon has 3 rushing touchdowns and 386 yards, making him the best running back in this game. And uh, Jamar Chase has 450 yards and 5 touchdowns, making him by far the best receiver in the game. The Kansas City Chiefs play the Washington football team. Both teams are 2-3. and three. Um, Mahomes has just under 1,500 yards, 16 touchdowns, 6 picks on the year. Taylor has 1,200 yards, 8 touchdowns, 5 picks. Top halfback in this game is going to be Antonio Gibson with the, just over 300 yards on the year and 3 touchdowns. Damien, Darrell Williams is going to be um, filling in for an injured Clyde Edwards-Hilaire. Uh, both top receivers are very good. Um, Travis Kelsey, four touchdowns, 370 yards. McLaurin, 400 yards, even three touchdowns. Um, Tyreek Hill is also playing very, very well. Vikings play the Panthers. Um, Vikings two and three, Panthers three and two. Kirk Cousins, 1,400 passing yards, 10 touchdowns, two picks. Sam Donald, 1,300 yards, six touchdowns, six picks. Dalvin Cook is a touchdown and has lost a fumble. He is the better running back in this game. Um, assuming he plays, he is questionable. Christian McCaffrey, I believe, is also probably questionable. Um, but they say he will play, assuming there are no setbacks in practice. He also has a touchdown and 200 yards. Justin Jefferson and DJ Moore, very similar statistics, both about 450 yards, and uh, they both have three touchdowns. Houston Texans play the Indianapolis Colts. Davis Mills, five touchdowns, five picks. He had a good game last week, 670 yards. Carson Wentz, 1,300 yards, seven touchdowns, one pick. He's having a decent year um, after that injury. Jonathan Taylor has two touchdowns and over 300 yards on the ground, making him the better running back of the two in this game. Um, Michael Pittman and Brandon Cooks have similar yardage and both have a touchdown. Um, evenly matched receivers. L.A. Rams for the New York Giants. Um, Matthew Stafford, he has played uh, pretty well. 12 touchdowns, 3 picks, 1,580 yards. Daniel Jones has 1,200 yards, 4 touchdowns, and a pick. Uh, obviously, we don't really know if Saquon's going to play. I think he's doubtful for this game. Devontae Booker did have a decent game last week. He had a touchdown. Darrell Henderson, 300 yards on the year and 3 touchdowns for him. Cooper Cup. Um, le close to, if not leading, the NFL in receiving yards, 520. Uh, he has five touchdowns on the year. And uh, Kadarius Tony, who got ejected last week, um, he has 300 yards. He's the top receiver for the Giants. LA Chargers play the Baltimore Ravens. Um, Lamar Jackson and Justin Herbert are both playing very well this year. Herbert has 13 touchdowns and three picks, 1,500 yards. Lamar Jackson also has 1,500 yards, eight touchdowns, and three picks. 
Austin Eckler, about 350 yards, four touchdowns. He did lose a fumble. Latavius Murray has three touchdowns. Both uh, decent running backs. Ken Allen, Marquise Brown, both having pretty good years. Marquise Brown, five touchdowns, 450 yards. Ken Allen, 370 yards, and a touchdown. Green Bay Packers play the Chicago Bears. Um, Packers are 4-1, and one, Bears are 3-2. and two. Justin Fields has eight touchdowns, two picks on 450 yards. Aaron Rodgers, 1,200 yards, 10 touchdowns, three interceptions. Um... Aaron Jones, over 300 yards, two touchdowns, and a lost fumble. Devontae Adams has over 500 yards, well over 500 yards, and two touchdowns. A lot of it coming last week. What, what I believe is going to be the best game of the week, the Arizona Cardinals at 5-0 and playing the 3-2 and Cleveland Browns. Kyler Murray, over 1,500 yards, 10 touchdowns, four picks. Baker Mayfield, 1,240 yards, four touchdowns, two picks. Um, Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt obviously are the leading, um, the leading duo of running backs in the NFL by far. Um, I'm not sure their exact statistics, but they're doing pretty good. It looks like Nick Chubb is, um, a little bit banged up, but he, he should be fine. OBJ, 124 yards, no touchdowns. DeAndre Hopkins has four touchdowns and 300 yards receiving. Raiders playing the Broncos. Raiders uh, are in a little bit of trouble. They had to find a new coach, kind of short term there, but uh, they got one. Derek Carr, 1,600 yards. I would say that if he had kept up what he was doing with like the 400-yard performances pretty consistently, he would be uh, leading the NFL right now, but I don't think he is. Um, I think that might that category may, might go to Tom Brady. He has eight touchdowns and four interceptions on the year. Teddy Bridgewater, 1,100 yards, seven touchdowns, one pick. He's having a pretty good year for himself. Uh, Melvin Gordon, 280 yards, two touchdowns. Josh Jacobs, 120 yards, not 1,200 yards, and three touchdowns. Darren Waller, 300 yards, two two receiving touchdowns. Cortland Sutton, just under 400 yards and a touchdown for him on the year. Dallas Cowboys play the New England Patriots. Uh, Cowboys are 4-1, and one, Patriots 2-3. and three. Both quarterbacks have about 1,300 yards. Dak has 13 touchdowns and three picks. Jones has three touchdowns, five touchdowns, and five interceptions. Ezekiel Elliott with five touchdowns on the year, 450 yards for him. Damian Harris, 230 yards, two touchdowns. He has lost two fumbles already, though. Both receivers, over 300 yards. Um, CD has two touchdowns. Jacoby Myers has none. On to the Seattle Seahawks versus Pittsburgh Steelers. Russell Wilson, who will not be playing. Um, he is very much hurt. Um... You know, Smith will be filling in for him. I believe he has a passing touchdown on the year and an interception. Ben Roethlisberger, 1,300 yards, six touchdowns, four interceptions. Chris Carson has three touchdowns and a lost fumble. Nasha Harris has 300 yards, two touchdowns, and he is looking pretty good for a rookie. DK Metcalf, 380 yards, five touchdowns for him. Deontay Johnson, three touchdowns, 300 yards. Under the last game of the week, the Buffalo Bills played the Tennessee Titans on Monday Night Football. Um, Josh Allen, 1,370 yards. See him in the background. He's having a good year. 12 touchdowns on two interceptions. Ryan Tannehill, 1,250 yards. Six touchdowns, three interceptions for him. Derrick Henry has seven rushing touchdowns. He is a beast. The Bills are going to have to figure out a way to contain him. Um... He is having a great, great year. He has over 600 yards on the ground already. A.G. Brown and Stephon Diggs both have a touchdown. Um, Stephon Diggs only has like three times more yards, though. So, just only three times more yards. And that's going to about do it for this week. Um, there are four teams with a bye week. The Falcons, Saints, Jets, and 49ers are all on bye. So, uh, make sure to check your fantasy teams if you need to fill in some some spots hope you guys all enjoyed the video um 
I enjoy making them. Make sure to like and subscribe for more coming in the future, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.